What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the Evil Meme Team, we are prepping for tonight's stream, we are going to build her on this account, and we need to see what we can do. So, I did take the time, and I did all of our 4 star fusions, I think we still even have, where is it, fusions, yeah, we still haven't done all the 6 stars, or even the 9 stars this month, we have time to finish it. We haven't done Broken Spaces, so we will be able to test Eloise out in Broken Spaces tonight, which is a nice little bonus. But yeah, we have to, we have to figure out what we're going to do. As far as building the hero, the only way I could see building Eloise from scratch on this account is if we fed off the two Ignis. And I really don't want to do that. Honestly, the... Game plan, as much as a lot of you guys are going to scream and yell at me like, No, Barry, Ithaca was amazing in the Void Arc bosses. I know. I just don't care. <laughs> and you know I don't care about this hero at all either. So, I'm thinking what we probably do is just straight up swap the Ithaca. She's already got an okay stone, so we'll finish maxing that out. Um, we do have... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do we have gear? Yeah, we have ranger gear. She's a ranger, right? Yeah, she's a ranger. Okay, we have ranger gear that we can use to test out on her. Uh, we'll probably do a 1-3 split gear setup. I believe we have an A and B here. So I think what we're going to do, since we have one of these chests, we're going to grab another A and B out right here. I think that's the plan. Yeah, we're going to grab the A and B out of here. We're going to make a glittery. It's not splendid. I know, feels a little bad, but it's better than nothing. We'll give that a shot, see what we can do. Because honestly, even if we did have the food to build her up, we don't have the green goo. We're short. We're going to get some cores tonight, which will be nice. Got plenty of soul symbols. We have a sphere just sitting here, but I think we're waiting to see if we want to use it in crystals in case we need it for a Jara. We do have quite a few hero copies up here. We could start using these for food. I think what the plan is going to be is trying to V4 her. I believe we have enough transcending spheres. Or, I mean, sorry, stellar shards. I think we do. To do a V4 now. We'll get more cores tonight as well, so that'll help. We're going to have a ton of food. That's the other thing I keep forgetting. We're out. We're going to have tons and tons of food. Hmm, we got to decide what we are going to do. That is a lot of shadow. See, here's the one problem we have on this account. We have so many shadow four stars sitting here, but we have absolutely zero shadow three stars that we can use for fusions. Plus, we have even more in the bag. We got to stop using our profit orbs in shadow, I think. It's just out of control. We don't have any three star hero shards literally have nothing so the first summon is going to be like a hundred hopefully we can whittle these down to like next to nothing what i do need to do is i need to take all these five stars and fuse them up today I'm not going to put you guys through that because that would probably be a really really boring thing to watch um but we actually have a lot of hero copies we got what five jars here for the next transcendence hero do we have any jars here Six, seven, eight. Yeah, so that plus a single chest. That's enough. We already have 500 scrolls, so here's the plan. We're going to do 500 heroic scrolls, but we're also going to buy, I believe, two of the $100 packs. See what we can high roll, and then if necessary, we'll buy the third pack and try to get to 1,200 scrolls done. If we can get to 1,200 scrolls done, that essentially guarantees it with the eternal crystals that we're going to have. That's probably going to be the best option. We're going to do about 1,200 scrolls, grab copies of her, because of course we have like a no skaze we can swap, things like that that are still valid swap heroes. And then we're going to straight up swap the nine hero copies into the Ithaca and start the testing. Sadly, we have Tower done. We have Aspen Dungeon done. We've got sea land done. So the only things we can really test is like late game PVP, not even end game PVP, but late game PVP and broken spaces. I wonder if we have the guild, oh, wrong one. I'm so used to being dead center. 
We will have attempts on Berea as well. I guess we could try her in slot one right in the front, see if she can live. <laughs> she should be able to live with the way her abilities are going to work. So that could be fun. That could be good. Do we have anything on the fountain here? Nope. Uh, we have everything else done, right? We got tavern quest. We just got to finish our fusions. I'll take care of that. We'll build some more nine star food. Maybe we have enough when I get done with all that, all the fusions. Maybe we have enough to not need to swap Ithaqua. But the other problem is going to be dust for a stone. What am I going? Dust. We have 280. I think it costs like 350. And we only have one supply chest. And it's just a basic one. It's not even a good one. Oof. So many issues here. <laughs> issue after issue after issue. Oh, as far as pets go, I think we finally finished the fox pet out completely. Stone Golem, we're going to leave as is. The level only increases the crit damage number. We really don't care about that. So yeah, we'll give it a try. We'll see what we can do. Not sure how... Not sure how this is going to go. I think she's going to be a really good early game hero. I'm not sure about late game. This is a late game account. I would not call this end game by any means because it doesn't have really any upgraded artifacts besides that upgraded Punisher. But we should be able to get the glittery. Let's actually do that now. Let's remove that. Let's go in here. Let's open this up to a AMB. There we go. Let's go to Ormus. What do we need? 7,000. We're going to need a little bit more. Do we get some exclusives we can feed off? We got that one. That one's not too bad to feed. Let's just do that. That should be enough, right? Oh, so close. Um, Amir chain. Do, 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 do. Feed off one of you. What do we need? Was one enough? Yeah, one was enough. There we go. So let's get that A and B. At least get a glittery on this account for her. Because I do think A and B is going to be the best option for her overall. We'll just take it for now and throw it onto the Drake. But yeah, not too bad. I, we really need another hero that can use Rui. Really, it's just Sherlock and Cruz right now. There haven't been that many CC heroes. Chances are, I bet this is going to be really strong on Jara. Void Transcendence Jara. But we do have an A and B now, so at least we can test out a glittery version of it on Eloise. We'll go and fight some teams that are not end game. It'll be more like a mid-late game type fighting, which that actually might be better for most of you guys out there because let's be honest, most of you are not in the end game. Most of you aren't in the early game. You're in the middle to late game. You're in that transition of I have a full E5 team. What heroes are going to help my account move from here forward? So, yep. That sounds about right. We'll jump into it tonight. If you have not just yet, make sure you go follow the Twitch stream. There's a link in the description of every single video to our Twitch channel. We'll be streaming that 7 p.m. tonight. We'll have some Idol Heroes trivia as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you guys there.